Avast mateys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. And now that the Iron Net's been opened, we can sail into North Ocean. So unlike South Ocean with its turbulent skies, the skies of North Ocean are completely clear. So this is going to be easy sailing to get to the other side. You have found the Rock's Nest. The nest of a legendary bird, the Rock. A single rock egg is large enough to feed a whole town for a full lunar cycle. However, not many people are brave or stupid enough to try and steal an egg from the nest of this giant bird. So we'll be seeing one of those rocks later in the game. So you can notice this sky rift to the left of us looks different to normal ones. That's known as the Dark Rift, and we'll be learning about it later. You were found for Will-O-Wisps. I woke up in the middle of the night and saw something glowing out near some unpopulated islands. I thought I was just seeing things at first, but then the light started moving around in these weird patterns. An anonymous sailor. So it looks like they're loopers. There's also a very sneaky discovery near this one. It's just out here in open sky. You have found the mysterious rings. Huge geometric shapes that mysteriously appear on ground overnight. Reports have been very frequent lately. Old records speak of a similar phenomenon and mention two or three glowing balls of light that appear at night before the shapes are found. So we can assume that these loopers have been creating those crop circle like patterns. For what reason, we'll probably never know. So there's about five discoveries here, we're just going to get them all and then we'll head to Valua. You have found the Giant's Hammer. A strange structure found in the northern regions of Ixataka. It was named Giant's Hammer for its unusual shape, but there are many local legends that tell of giants, so perhaps the name is not far from the truth. Well, there is a giant. We fought him in the last part, the Green Gygus Grandel. However, he didn't use a hammer to attack us, he just kept punching us and kicking us. And he threw boulders at us. You have found the giant throne. An enormous rock formation that looks like a rocking chair. The claw marks on its surface have given rise to many stories. Some speak of a giant green creature that once perched here, or of a hairy beast that was lulled to sleep by its rocking motion. Right, so there's one more discovery left, and this one is kind of annoying to find, because this one can move around. But if we head straight south, we should be able to find it. Ooh, fishies. Okay, we've got some fishies to catch after this battle. So all the battles in this region are the same as in Ixataka. So we're just going to skip all the other fights after this until we get to new lands. So let's just do a lambda burst, clear out the packs, and everyone nuke down the big guy. So at the moment I've changed around the colours again, so we learn different magic. And that's because Ika is very close to learning her final green magic spell, and so we don't want to get it too early and then waste all the experience later. Yeah, just drop Keeper on its head. It never gets old. So Visor's damage is a lot lower than it usually is. That's because we're using a white map to have less random encounters as we're flying this region. Because usually he'd be wearing the Captain's hat that increases his attack power by a lot. Well, let's just burn this guy down. Yeah, go Keeper, you finish it. Good job. Serves up right. Right, let's go get some fishies. The little jack is a fishing vessel after all. Is that the discovery? I think that's the discovery. You can only just see it on the horizon. So this one moves rather fast, and it goes in a straight line, so we could just wait for it to come back to us. But that will take longer, so we'll just chase after it. Ah, Death Blossom. I don't think we've seen that attack yet. But it just damages everything around him. 
Well, let's finish this and continue hunting that cyclone. So we just got a red weapon with Iqo at the moment because I'm hoping to learn Incremus on her as soon as possible. Because Vise is the closest to learning it, but Vise is the one we want to be doing attacks and not buffing. Come on over here, Discovery, I want to discover you. I think it's gonna, yeah, it's changing direction. Let's catch it off. You have found the Tricyclone. A dangerous triplet of cyclones, sailors have dreaded the legendary Tricyclone for centuries. It's said that if you encounter it, all you can do is pray. However, it is also said that in the centre lies the treasures of a thousand dare pirates. So now we're just going to follow it back. So then, the current objective is to follow Valua back to their lands, because they're retreating at the moment. Hey, let's get some more fishies. Oh, come on. There we go. And we got a bee fish. So since Valua is currently retreating from their defeated ex-attacker, we're going to follow close behind when they don't expect us to be chasing them. That way we're going to sneak straight into their territory and swipe the moon crystal from under their noses. Because we want to get it and get out of there before we notice that we're coming. Otherwise we're going to be in trouble since Valua is their capital after all. So I believe that they have a patrol ship up here, they do. And everyone's level 23. Excellent. Right, so we're just going to give a wide berth to uh, this scout ship that we have out here. Because we don't want to be spotted, we want to do this sneakily. And now we're going to work our way into Valua. Black Pirate Gordo ship for Bloodlust. This guy's one of the bounties we've got. So it's good of him to come to us. Cold ocean starfish soup, value and chicken with onion sauce, and a mountain of flying fish. This is wonderful! The ship we hit yesterday really had some great food on board. Captain Gordo, a ship armed with a gigantic harpoon has been spotted off port side. I see. Good, good. Another ship full of goodies is there for the taking. I'll take on anyone I think that has good food on board. I really hope we have something that goes good with fish. Vise was a ship heading straight for us, and they're black pirates. I know that flag. It belongs to a pirate named Gordo. He's known as the Gourmet Pirate. He attacks other ships and steals their food. He rarely uses his cannons because he's afraid he'll burn the food on the other ships. He'll do anything for a good meal. As far as Black Pirates go, he's a strange one. You're telling me, he's getting awfully close. Ah! They're boarding us. They're challenging us to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, that was a mistake. Well, while they're here, we might as well kick their butts. So, to be honest, this boss kind of feels like it comes way too late for what it is. So, it's incredibly easy to beat, so let's just beat him down. So, they're all red element. So, let's just burn down one of them with a Cutlass Fury. And then everyone gets purple element weapon. And let's just burn down his adds as quickly as possible. There we go. That should kill two of them. Let's just hack this chef to pieces. We'll show him our knife work. Get back to the kitchen. You know, I can't fault Gordo for at least uh, having his commitment to the part. His entire existence is based around piracy for food, and he even attacks with chefs. You don't hit us with a flying pan, you jerk. 
Just drop a cannonball on his head. Digest. So he's powering up for a new move next turn. But we should have more than enough health to deal with it. Might have still got one more dude left. So you guys just deal with him. And then let's check our health. Yeah, we should be fine. Everyone just focus. Hey, don't poison Fina, you jerk. Right, we're going to have to cure that. So I think that we can easily kill Gordo in a couple of moves. But we'll still work up for the good old-fashioned Pirate's Wrath. You know, he is a black pirate after all. He deserves to go out in style. So we still have the white map equipped. So Vise's damage is still lower, but it's still able to one-shot these guys. Like I said, it feels like this boss comes too late. Lockwa Spray. Like, it deals a lot of damage, but it needs a turn to charge, so we can easily heal that up. Right, you just slash the guy in the face. You throw out a Sacrum. Fina, you just cure yourself. I don't want you poisoned. And Drachma, you just punch the guy in the face. There we go, Fina's feeling much better already. Moves, give me strength. Like, if you actually let the ad survive for a long time, then this fight could actually get rather problematic. But if you just follow the usual RPG rule of dealing with ads first, then this fight really isn't a challenge whatsoever at this point in the game. You know, let's give him a good old-fashioned Cutlass Fury, see how much damage he takes. And then let's work up for our Pirate's Wrath. I think we have enough spirit next turn to use Pirate's Wrath. Hey, you're not wrong, Gordo. I do like how that's his line for his uh, taking heavy damage. He just screams that he's done for. And it's time to go out in style, Gordo. You attack the blue rogues, and this is how we treat you. Probably should have changed the colours of our weapons. Oh well. I'm done for. Pirate rats. I'm done for. I'm done for. Well, Gordo, you were committed to the part, and I respect you for that. But in the end of the day, challenging us to a hand-to-hand -hand combat was just a terrible idea. And he gives us a charm and some fish. So we took his food instead. Did that go as properly as you planned, Gordo? We give up. You and your crew fought well. Your name was Vise, right? I don't think I've ever seen you in North Ocean before. This is the first time we've ever been to North Ocean. For now, we're riding aboard Captain Drachma's ship. A little Jack. A Drachma? Wait. Drachma, were you ever in North Ocean before? What if I was? 
Then it is you. I've heard all about you. You're the sailor that's chasing after that Arquail, Ragnum, if I remember correctly. It was to avenge your son, right? Enough! I don't know what stories you've been hearing, but I suggest you keep them to yourself. And unless you want to be thrown overboard, you should get off my ship. Uh, that's quite alright. We'll be going now. And what are you staring at? Are you going to stand there all day? Get back to the bridge before I throw you overboard. <gasps> yes, sir. I love how Fina can't help but be respectful even when she's fleeing. Hmm. Rachna. So now we know a little bit about Drachma. He's never really talked about himself, or about the little Jack. But clearly there's a story behind this ship. But anyway, we'll find out about that soon enough. For now, let's actually focus on our quest to obtain the Moon Crystal. So we finally approached Value in Space. And we have found the Lighthouse Ruins. Originally an ancient ruin, it was converted into a lighthouse to guide Vayuan ships returning from the north, but as the centre of Vayuan culture shifted to the south, the once great lighthouse faded from people's memories. Looks like you've reached Vayuan airspace. Sorry about that. So this is where the yellow crystal is hidden, right? Yes, it's sealed somewhere in these lands, along with the Yellow Gygus. Considering how much trouble we caused the Vyruans already, we should be extra careful, right, Cap'n? Cap'n? What's wrong? Ah, uh, um, nothing. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Nothing, really. It wasn't anything important. Yeah, Gordo's words clearly hit the captain quite hard then. Well, for now, let's go talk to this ship. North Ocean is a vital trade route that brings the wealth of the new goods from the new continent back to Valua. Unfortunately, where there's gold to be made, there's always pirates that want to steal it. Be careful. Thanks, mate. No, we're stuck on your ship, sorry. Right, so there's only the one discovery to be made at the moment in value and space. It's a little bit hard to find, but we're going to beeline straight for it. So first off, we need to find ourselves a landmark. Because it's the only way I can uh, find it. Right, here we go. That's the landmark. So now that we're here, we need to go southwest. And it's time to see what we can fight in value and space. It's our first time properly here, with actual land beneath us and not just the sky. And sadly it's just reskins of the previous guys from uh, Nazir. Oh well. Let's start off a classic way with a Lambda Burst. Let's make sure we're actually all wearing the right colour weapons. You go back to red. Fina, you go to yellow. Actually, you go to green, Fina. You pick a different target. And Drachma, you go to um, yellow. Yeah. So I guess we'll focus on trying to give Fina double the experience on healing now. And then hopefully both her and Aika will learn the final heal spell at around the same time. And then we can ignore green from that point on. Oh, you're barely alive. 
Yeah, get out of here, you jerk. Right, if these guys are only going to do normal attacks, this might be a good opportunity to use um, Skull Shield if we fight another pair of them. For now, let's just cut this few of the higher health one, or the other one, never mind. We don't need to be too precise, as long as if we attack roughly different targets, we should be fine. Smash it in the face. We won! We won! Right, so now we want to continue going southwest. Yeah, just keep going southwest. And then we go over this crater, and it should be just over here. There it is. You have found the ancient palace. A beautiful old castle that stands near a lake in central Valua. Local legends of evil wizards and mysterious disappearances were revived when various potions and torture devices were discovered in the dungeons beneath the castle. So there's actually only that one discovery here. So now we're going to go back. This is a very large area, however there's only the one discovery to be made. Which is quite deceptive. Right, so here's the more of Tartus. Before we go in, let's just uh, double check we have full health. There we go. We were getting a bit low in that last fight. That chunk of metal is huge. Beneath it is the Moor of Tartus. It's an entrance to a series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of a yellow crystal, as well as the yellow Gygus. This seal was built by my people after the reigns of destruction in order con to contain the yellow Gygus. Now the yellow Gygus lies dormant. Good. <laughs> Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gygus can't get out. But it also means that we can't get in. Hmm. I don't think there's any way to get through this seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move! The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death. Of course it is. Ah well, bring it on then. Right, two of these guys, Enforcers. Well, let's start off with a Lambda Burst, see how much damage we do, and everyone just work on the same guy in case he's still alive. Fire right, these guys have quite a lot of health. Ah, well, this one should be dead, at least. Don't throw grenades at us! Right, so that seems to be the same animation as the burst effect from, um, Sylvan Bane. So that might hit multiple targets if it- if we group up. Hey, nice dodge, Fina! That was a very quick attack. She's learning to be an air pirate, all right. Man, you guys suck at your jobs. They've been waiting here all this time to stop people, and then we just turn up and start wrecking them.
Right, we'll show you this guy's sword play. I kind of want one of them to throw a grenade onto Drachma and Vise to see if it hits both of them. Everyone's just dodging today. I love it. Hey, not Drachma. He's a little bit too slow. Poor Drachma, he's too old for this. Damn kids and they're dodging. Take this. Right, it's a good thing we all decided to, do to attack. Since his garden must turn like a jerk. Let's just hack him to pieces. Okay, Drachma, it's your turn. Punch that guy in the face. Good job. That was easy. We we surrender. Please don't kill us. Tell us how you open the seal and we'll let you live. That's impossible. Our entire army couldn't open it. Our commanders aren't concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already in value and it's safe from you. Hmm, that makes sense. We'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think this area would be more heavily guarded. Where was the rest of your men? We're preparing for the raid on Nazrat. <gasps> What? Vari's going to start a war with Nazir? I, I think so. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale that destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? Rachnum is here? Answer me. I, I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday and there were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rachnum. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time, but now it's your turn to follow me. We understand. We'll go with you, Drachma. Well, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma, we'll go with you. Very well. Now's the time for me to finally face Rachnum. He was the reason why I got the Harpoon Cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him, or die trying. Right, so Keeple is making some noise here. Let's have a look around. And we find a Chom. Let's take out the Chom. A contaminated form of a cham that causes Keeple to regurgitate all chams. So if we want to have Keeple go back to old forms, we can use one of these. How many chams do we have, by the way? We have loads. We should probably evolve Keeple. And Keeple is now a club. You know, it was fun being a cannonball, but I guess at this point in the game, we really should make him stronger. Let's check what it says about Keeple now. Morphs into a club and bludgeons enemies into submission. Even Keeple has a mean streak. Right, let's continue looking around. Yeah, since there's a few chomps here, so we're gonna go pick them all up while we're here. Man, I can't believe that there's a Geiger sealed somewhere under this thing. I think there's one more by the entrance. Yeah, there is. No, come on. Where is it? There it is. I think that's all the chums in the game. I think it's just those three. Yeah, let's get out of here now. We've got an arc whale to hunt. Let's return to the little jack. It's time for Rackham to finally get his revenge, even though I don't really know about him dying trying. I don't want him to die. We'll need to rest up before we attack Rackham. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky, and we never see him coming.
We'll hide in this canyon and ambush him at first sight of fog. Tonight we sleep here. Drop anchor, boy. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to even get a wink of sleep. Rackdom's nearby. That's all I could think of as I lie here trying to sleep. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any, should I? Maybe I'll take a little walk around and try and calm myself down. So we haven't actually had a chance to explore the little jack again since the first time we did. We could have done it at some point, but I was waiting until now. This is a hammock that I've been sleeping in. The engine's kind of loud, but I've gotten used to it by now. This used to be the storage area, but Iker and Fina now use it as their bedroom. Ah, oh, I swear I didn't steal anything. Ha, <laughs> sounds like Iker's talking in her sleep again. This is the captain's room, but I don't hear him snoring as usual. I wonder if he's awake. Captain? Captain, it, it's you, it's Vice, are you awake? There's no response, I wonder where he is. With the engine that we took from Beleza's ship, the little jack is quite powerful, and it's not as loud as it used to be too. Yeah, Visor's having a lot better sleeps now that we took Beleza's engine, when we uh, finished off the business in Nazir. Alright, let's uh, check out the bridge. Alright, no one's up here. The captain did say that we're spending the night here. I probably shouldn't move the ship without the captain's permission, at least. Wait, I want to examine this. There's a barrel full of lacqua. I guess it's convenient to keep some in a bridge, just in case you get thirsty. D don't worry, it's not alcoholic. It is totally not an alcoholic drink in this game. Don't, don't worry about it. Captain. Is that you, boy? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. What's that? Hmm. Open it. It's full of... Feathers? My son collects. He used to collect those. You had a son? Aye, about the same age as you. A long time ago I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come with us. His name was Jack. He was a small boy who liked to help out the other sailors, so we used to call him Little Jack. One day we went out fishing as usual, then Rachnum came. We didn't know how powerful Rachnum was, and we tried to fight him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Rachnum destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew and Jack weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell, like they would stop him from falling. I can still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day on, I swore revenge on Rachnum, for my crew, and for Jack. I need to kill Rachnum to avenge my crew and my son. Hmm. I'm getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain? This fog. Could it be? Huh? Boy, go wake the others. It's him. Rachnum is here. 
So now we need to hunt down Rachnum, but before we do that, we're going to check into our menu. Because there's something I haven't shown you yet, and that's the journal. So the journal will complete over the course of the game, and as you can see, we're roughly halfway through the story at the moment. The reason why we're checking this now, is because Drachma actually made an entry, back when we were in the lands of Nazir. So let's read this. Hmm, I can't believe myself. Why did I go out of my way to help those kids? I should be chasing Rachnum. Maybe Vi's just reminding me of... What am I thinking? I must chase Rachnum. I've taken an oath. I will chase him until one of us is dead. So as you can see there, that's the first hint towards him thinking of Vi's as his son. Because Vi's reminds him of Little Jack. Which is also what the Little Jack ship is named after. So, let's finally give Drachma the revenge he's been seeking. And let's take down Rachnum. He should be hiding around here. It's time for the final confrontation. What's that sound? It sounds like cannon fire. Boy, dead ahead. And here's Rachnum. Captain! It's him! Well, Drachma, it's time for real revenge. It's huge! Hey, look over there! It looks like the Valiants are trying to kill Steel from Drachma. Nobody does that to an old fisherman. Captain, whose ship is that? While we were in Valua, I heard rumours of the Armada altering their chain of command. That must be Ramirez's ship. He was Gaussian's vice-captain. He's the most feared officer in the Armada. Ramirez? Athena, what's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. If we can't fight them both at the same time, Captain, what should we do? Take out the Valuan ships first. I don't want them interfering in our fight with Rachnum. I need to kill Rachnum myself. Battle stations. Leave Ramirez's ship alone. Take out those two, cru two cruisers in the front first. No one kill steals from Drachma. He hasn't chased Rachnum all these years to have the Valuans kill it. So this is the same fight we would have got if we encountered that random Valuan ship on the way here. So that's why we skipped it. Air uh, Pirate Scum, you'll regret the day you stood against Lord Ramirez and the sick fleet of the Armada. So we're just going to power up for the Harpoon Cannon, because we need to warm it up if we're going to shoot Ram uh, Rachnum with it. We've already taken down two flagships of the Armada and two Geigers, so this guy isn't going to be a problem. We're just going to treat him as a warm-up. So we're just focusing this turn so we can do our buffs next turn. And then we should be able to do the Harpoon Cannon straight after. We're not going to bother attacking at the moment because it's not really going to speed things up. We should be able to one-shot it with the Harpoon. He's doing quite a bit of damage to us. We might need to heal just before we kill him. Since we do want to be full health for our fight with Ragnum. Right, so next turn we can use our Harpoon Cannon. So, let's get ready. Increm. Let's 
throw a sack rest for safety. Then let's drill in the enemy. And finally, let's throw out a torpedo just in case he's still alive somehow after the harpoon. Even though I severely doubt it. We haven't used the harpoon cannon since our fight with um, Grendel. Whoa, I'm so glad that I missed, otherwise he might have died then. Maybe I underestimated you. The sixth fleet of the Armada is rather strong, it seems. With Lord Ramirez in charge. We should have ample health for our fight with Rackham. So he should be dead with the Harpoon Cannon, but just in case, let's fight aggressively. We're going to just nuke him down with every other attack as well. Just for good measure. So let's warm up the old Harpoon. Yet we one-shot him. As to be expected, it is just a normal ship after all. And we get another deluxe kit to add to our collection. Alright, we've got a straight shot at Rachnam. I've waited for this for a long time. Harpoon cannon. Fire. Direct hit. Ha, huh. there's no escape for you now. Captain, watch out! There's an enemy ship off the starboard side. It's Ramirez. He got behind us while we're concentrating on Rachnum. Oh, this isn't good. The harpoon's still impaled in Rachnum, we can't go anywhere. The little jack's on fire. Repeller power's dropping rapidly, we're, we're losing altitude. This isn't good. If he keeps up like this, we're all going to die. No! I've waited far too long. I may never get another chance. Captain, we've got to abandon ship. We need to get on the lifeboats down below. What? You're telling me to abandon the little Jack? You're telling me to let Rachnum go? Yes. If you die, it won't bring back your son. And as long as you're alive, you'll always have another chance. Ugh. If you die now, then the lives of your crew and your son would have been lost in vain. Alright, we're abandoning ship. Everyone get down below. Well, I'm sorry, little Jack. But I'm afraid our blind revenge has led to your destruction. Is there any way we can still go? The ship won't hold up much longer. We've got to get out of here. We need to hurry up and get to the lifeboats. So the little Jack's managed to survive fights with flagships. Well, let's try and get out on the surface. It's too dangerous to go out onto the deck right now. We need to hurry up and get to the lifeboats. So we've taken down both um, two Admiral flagships and two Gigas. But at the end of the day, Ramirez has destroyed us. The engine doesn't look like it's going to hold up much longer. Okay, I get the impression. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, little Jack. Captain, hurry up and get on. The ship's going down. Captain! 
Captain, get on board. Look, Vakdom is hurt. Now at least you managed to wound it, Drachma. Captain, what are you doing? No, don't. Captain, hurry, get in. Why did he do that? Ramirez, he fires on lifeboats? Well, Ramirez, you're a jerk. Vise! No! 